Hello students, in this video we're going to solve this homogeneous linear system of ODEs. In this case we'll have real eigenvalues that are distinct and we'll get real eigenvectors. All right, so I'm assuming that you know how to find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of a matrix. If you do not, then I recommend you go and consult your text or other videos that I have in my linear algebra playlist where I go through how to find eigenvalues and eigenvectors of a matrix. I'm going to go through that rather quickly, so I'm just assuming you already know how to do that. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to rewrite this system as a matrix equation. So x dot corresponds to dx dt, and y dot corresponds to dy dt. And I just pick off the coefficients, 2, 3, 2, 1, from the system, and then I have the vector x, y. I'm going to rewrite this as a matrix equation with vector notation. So sometimes you'll see it written, this vector xy written as capital X, sometimes you'll see it written as capital Y, sometimes you'll see it written as x vector or y vector, um, sometimes it'll be written as u or v, any number of things, but typically it's going you know, to be x or y. In this case I'm going to pick um, capital Y, and this will be capital Y vector dot. So the dot um, is a derivative of vector. Remember, when you differentiate a vector, you differentiate component by component. And then capital Y vector is the vector x, y. So this is what the matrix equation looks like. So that means A, matrix A, is 2, 3, 2, 1 by rows. And then if we find the eigenvalues of this matrix, we get lambda 1 is minus 1, lambda 2 is 4. Or you could have switched your order. It actually does not matter. And then, so the corresponding eigenvectors, so the, vec the eigenvector that corresponds to minus 1, lambda 1 equals minus 1, is the eigenvector 1 minus 1. And the eigenvector that corresponds to lambda 2 being 4 is the eigenvector 3, 2. Again, I'm just assuming you know how to go about finding these eigenvalues and eigenvectors. You might have a scalar multiple of these. So your vector might look like minus 1, 1, and this might be minus 3, minus 2. But it's the same eigenvectors in, in essence, because eigenvectors are unique up to a, a scalar multiple. So here's how mine scaled. These are the eigenvectors that I found. Now the solution to this system, I'm just going to give you these formulas, and you can actually just check to see if this is correct by differentiating the y1 and y2, and then applying the matrix A to y1 and y2, and seeing that you get the same thing on either side. But your solution is going to look like this linear combination, c1, y1, plus c2, y2, where y1 is the eigenvector times the exponential, and y2 is the, uh, the corresponding eigenvector times its exponential with the eigenvalue as the argument in the argument. So I'm going to write the solution with the numbers that we found. So that means that y is equal to c1, and then the eigenvector k1 which is 1 minus 1 and then lambda 1 was minus 1 so it's just going to be e to the minus t plus c2 and then k2 which is 3 2 e to the lambda 2t which is e to the 4t. Now you have to consult with your instructor to see what form of the solution they want. Sometimes uh, just writing something like this would be enough and then you just put you know the 1 minus 1 here and e to the minus t and then the 3 2 here and the e to the 4t. Sometimes they want the solution written this way Sometimes uh, you, they'll want the solution in, with, in component form. These are called trajectories, and you can actually plot these. Um, this is a per, uh, x is parameterized with a, the variable t, and y is parameterized with the variable t. So you actually get a curve associated with this solution in the x, y plane you can plot. But, um, Anyways, these are the vector components. So the way that I got those is I just distributed the C1 to the top component, e to the minus t, so that's C1 e to the minus t, plus 3C2 e to the 4t, there it is. And then y is minus C1 e to the minus t, plus 2C2 e to the 4t. So this is the solution in component form. Again, you should consult with your instructor to determine which form of the solution that they want. But this is how you find the solution to 
a homogeneous linear system of ODEs by finding the eigenvalues and eigenvectors. And then here are two, potentially three, depending on your perspective, forms of the solution. Okay. Good luck.